Hey everybody, Chris Waters here. If you know me, you know I'm a nerd at heart and I love the intersection between hunting and shooting and technology. And this unit that's sitting in front of me sits smack bang in that intersection. This is the M6T 25S from Knockpix. This is a vehicle mounted automatic thermal scanner. Now, what does that mean? I'll go into that in a section, but what I wanna do in this video is walk you through some of the key features of this unit, how you can install it on top of your vehicle and charge it and get it connected to the app and all that kind of stuff, as well as most importantly, give you some practical demonstration of how it's actually used in the field as I went out shooting with it the other night for some rabbits and hares with my mate, Geordie. So without further ado, let's get into it. So let me start by answering what I think is the most important question. Why does this unit exist? What pain does it alleviate? What problem does it solve? Who is the target audience? So historically, when it's come to shooting at night, it's always been a two-person job. You've had someone in the passenger seat that's using a spotlight or sitting there with a rifle and you've had the driver. Now, what they've been doing is shining the spotlight, looking for the glint in the animal's eyes, the reflection off the spotlight, then jumping out and shooting. Now, in modern days, we've now moved to thermal units, either monoculars or thermal scopes, but it's still really been a two-person job. You need the person who's driving and then you have the person who's sitting there in the passenger side looking for the animal. And looking, I don't know if you've Done this before but looking for an animal when someone else is driving with a monocular is really difficult it's just really bumpy and it's just hard to look at this unit fixes that problem it solves the issue of the second person it essentially removes them entirely if you want because what you're doing is you're placing this unit on the roof of your car connecting it to a monitor or to your phone and then you can be driving your car and it be automatically scanning for you automatically targeting locking on setting a laser to show you exactly where it is. And then if you're using a thermal scope, you can immediately find it, shoot it. Or if you're using a spotlight, you can just put your spotlight on to where the laser is pointing, go out and take the shot yourself. You don't need a second person. So whether that's pest control, animal control, or just shooting at night for recreational purposes, that's what this unit is designed to do replace the second person. So what are its key features? Well, forgive me if it seems unprofessional, but I've written them down because while I'm familiar with the device, I'm not gonna remember every single thing, so I'd rather get it right. So first and foremost, is a 640 by 512 resolution image, thermal image, that's recorded at 50 hertz. And that's sent to either a mobile device through the app or through a monitor that you can buy separately. It also has a multi-axis stabilization, and I can speak from experience having this on the car and using it, I was incredibly impressed by how stable it was. I didn't think, I thought the footage would be all over the place. It's not, it's super smooth. So whatever black magic they're doing in that department, I highly recommend it. As a 1200 meter laser range one, this is an absolute game changer because this essentially removed that need for the second person. So while it's spinning around, you can toggle on and off the laser and the laser rangefinder. They're two separate things essentially because the laser rangefinder doesn't have to be a visible laser. It can just tell you exactly where it is. So you push a little button on the app and it sends out that pulse and then it tells you. Now you can have it constantly on. And so you have a little picture in picture on the bottom right hand corner of your screen that's constantly telling you where it's pointing and how far away in meters that distance is, which I think is always important because one of the major issues that I found when doing thermal hunting is you never know exactly how far away the animal is. And it's incredibly frustrating because you could be shooting at a hare 50 meters away, or you could be shooting at a cow 300 meters away. It's difficult to tell sometimes. Laser rangefinder solves that issue. It's really cool. It has brushless motors, so essentially it's super quiet. When it's sitting there on the roof, you're not listening to it. If you're sitting in the back on the tray, sitting up, you still don't hear it. It's really good as well. And then you have multiple ways to power it. So you can power it via the cigarette lighter inside of uh, the cab when you're driving, or you can mount a battery in here as well and have it battery powered as well. Now in terms of control, essentially there is a wired control option that has a joystick and some buttons that have shortcuts, or there's also a Bluetooth controller that's wireless that you can use. In terms of the actual control of motion, you have 360 degree pan and 90 degree tilt on the camera. So you can go all the way around if you want to, and you can go all the way up 
to 90 degrees and all the way down if you so wish. So let's talk about installation. You have two different base plates that you can mount onto. You have this rectangular one here and you also have the triangle one that I've got set up here. Now all you're doing is you're screwing in the unit at the bottom using an Allen key and then you're screwing on these three suction cups. You then place this unit on top of your vehicle on a flat spot and you use these little pumps to compress the air and create that seal and suction with the caps. Then what you're doing is essentially getting your power supply and you're plugging it into the back of it, running that lead up and under through your window and then plug it into the cigarette lighter. Then if you have an external monitor, you can plug it into that or you can just have that wired controller in your hand ready to go and connect to the app. Connecting to the app is super simple. You essentially download the Knockpick app and then connect your device to your local Wi-Fi network. You identify it, you connect the two, and then you're up and running. Honestly, it's that easy. All of the images and the videos are saved locally to your device and you can change the settings on the unit. Now, when it comes to the features and the settings available in the app, I'm not gonna go through every single one because we'd be here all day, but I will go through the main ones. So when you select the second button on the left, you enter intelligent search mode. This is when the unit automatically spins and looks for targets. When it finds a target, it puts it in a yellow bounding box to let you know that it's found a target. Now, when you select the third button on the left, this enters intelligent tracking mode. This is gonna select one of the targets that it's seen and lock onto them and put a red block on them, a red square. And then it doesn't matter where you drive, what direction the camera is facing, it will always point towards that target, essentially locking it on. Now this is when the laser comes in. The fourth option on the left is turning the laser on. This has that dual function that I mentioned before. So once you've found the target, you're locked on the target, then you can hit the laser button and turn on that green laser to locate where the target is. If you hit the other option in the laser sub menu, that's gonna put on the LFR, the, the laser range finder, and tell you how far away the animal is and have the picture in picture mode. Now below the laser icon, you have the settings icon. If you select this, you'll get a sub menu with a lot of different items in it, the main one of which is the color mode. Now you've got five different color options. You've got white hot, you've got black hot, you've got red hot, you've got something called pseudo color, and then you also have something called jungle. My preference is white hot or red hot, but really you can select whatever you want. On the right hand side of the app up the top, you have the ability to recalibrate the image if it's starting to lose quality or get too light or too dark. Clicking that button cleans up the image for you. Second below that is the ability to take a picture. Below that is the ability to record a video. Below that is your magnification for your digital magnification modes. And below that is your preset point, which sets the cruise positions for your camera. And the last feature at the top left-hand corner, which I didn't mention is the zeroing feature. If you click this, you can set and reset the zeroing point for the camera. So if you're looking over here and you kind of lose your direction, you can click that button and it automatically zeroes the camera wherever you've chosen to be zeroed. Okay, so if you got to this point in the video, you've just digested quite a lot of information. I should reward you. So here's some practical footage of the device being used in the field when I went out shooting the other day. Look, if you want more information about this unit, I'll drop some links below where you can learn more about it. Otherwise, in the comment section, if you have a question, drop it in there. I'll do my best to answer it if I can. Otherwise, enjoy the shooting footage. other like a bullet from a gun faster than the sheriff's drawing hotter than the sun didn't see it coming lately i've been on the run you know you've seen my face before so let me tell you something darling you fell in love with the family